Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be looking at the absolute best settings for sublimation printing from an Epson printer. Now all of these instructions are included with the sublimation printers we sell as a PDF but uh, some people prefer videos so we'll uh, go over that today and offer a little bit more explanation as to why we choose these settings and how we came to them. So to start with we'll open up our printers if you're on Windows 10 and you don't have a start menu, you can type printers into the Cortana box and open devices and printers there. Or if you have a start menu, you can go start and printers or sometimes devices and printers there. And today we'll be using our example Epson printer. You may be using a 2010 or an XP342 or a Workforce 7110. Really any Epson printer will have more or less the same settings. So we'll right click on the printer and select printing preferences. Let's minimize that and we'll have the printing preferences pop up here. So the default that we have from Epson is a standard quality document, which is fantastic for printing out text or invoices at home or homework and uh, not ideal for printing photos. You don't tend to get much ink put down. It is faster than photo printing but doesn't give you the same level of quality. So for sublimation printing, we'll start with the paper type. And we do want to keep that as plain papers. You can see we've got a lot of different options for Epson photo papers here. But the problem with choosing any of these is that it can put too much ink down on the page. So it tends to bleed out and go a bit fuzzy because the paper just can't absorb that much ink. So we'll stick with plain papers but we'll change the quality to high quality here. And that'll give us really nice, vibrant photos with a lot of detail in. And then next, everything else there is absolutely fine. So we'll come across to the more options button. And the color correction here, generally with all of the sublimation printers that we sell, you will get ICC profiles included, which will handle the handle the color correction for you and they'll be applied through your image editing software whether that's coral draw photoshop lightroom illustrator affinity designer or one of the many other options out there so we'll switch this from automatic to custom click on advanced i want to turn this off so no color adjustment there that's because normally in the automatic mode the printer will edit the colors that it's given by the computer but because photoshop or any other program will be handling all of that we don't want the printer to then edit the colors at all so again we go custom advanced no color adjustment by the printer and the last option that you can choose here we can tick the mirror image button and that will print everything in mirror image so if you send a standard document to the printer, it will print backwards so that once it's transferred onto your mugs or t-shirts, then it will be the right way around on the finished product. It's up to you whether you do this or you can choose that option in Photoshop alternatively. So for me, I always flip it around in Photoshop so I won't tick that box. Now next, we've got this add or remove presets button and we'll click on that. And we will add our new preset, which I will call A4 Sublimation. And then we've got, we can choose a picture. We'll have a, a yellow drum for mine. And click Save here. And it's popped up on this box right there. So now what this means is, if we accidentally change any of these settings, so say we accidentally switch back to automatic colour correction, we don't want that. We can just click on the A4 sublimation button on the main part to get back to it. There. And then the apply button's greyed out, which means it is already, it has already applied all of these settings. We click OK. And now next time, if we just check, those printing preferences will have been saved. It's automatically selected plain paper high quality and the custom color correction that we chose before 
So everything is then ready for you to install your ICC profiles and set them up through Photoshop, which you can check out one of our other videos. Thank you very much.